I remember what you did. They remember too. You're the reason that we were all there. It happened because of you. And you can't tell anyone. Why would you? It is your fault. Hi. All of it. Game potentially containing sudden long noises and potentially uncomfortable in the truth of this. Okay, I can hear the rain. Anyway, hello everybody, my name is Mr. Explosive. Things got started off kind of mysteriously there. Welcome to Five Nights at Candy's 3. This is the final game, well, not the final game, it was for a while, the final game in the series. If you don't remember the last one, I was seriously on to something. Why the puppet was purple, why the dates kept changing. I feel like I have everything connected and I was really proud of, I'm really proud of where I am. So I'm going to do a marathon where I make as many videos as I can trying to beat this game. Because I want to figure out, I want to make this tie together and we will, I am going to solve this mystery once and for all, no matter how long it takes. How are you feeling today? It's been two weeks. I understand that it was a very traumatic experience, but luckily your brother wasn't seriously hurt. You have to remember, they weren't real. They were just machines. They aren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just broken. The bro- Wait, are we talking about the kid or are we talking about the machines? Also, reference to the bite of 87. But it's okay now. You're safe here. You remembered them from the theater. Ah, uh, yes. The old one that your fa- That you and your father went to a year ago, right? <gasps> your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other that day. Then the incident happened. Have you still had nightmares since we last met? Were they about those monsters you drew for me? You're a very creative girl. But you can't let your fears take control of your imagination. In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fear. Okay, wait, wait, no, no, I'm looking at these things. These things look like they could tear me apart. I don't know if I really want to do that. You have to face the monster. Okay, again, not sure I want to do that because are you seeing the fangs at all? Are you seeing the fangs, the teeth? They could, they could seriously cut my neck if they wanted to. Uh, show them that you're not afraid. I am very afraid. I'm afraid of my own drawings, let alone the creatures themselves. So that's going to be kind of difficult. Do you understand? I guess it's the only way. Cool, great. It's the only way. Now, Mary, I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. So we're already getting some clues as to as to my theory because he... He referenced there the bite of 87 because he said like that the the incident with his brother that they were just broken. I'm not sure if it was the kid or if it was the machines, but he was absolutely referencing the bite of, of 87 there. Okay. And in the bite of 87 some bullies or whatever, they put the kid into the animatronic. And again, this is going to get very, very dark, so Fair warning, this is about to get dark. They put the kid in the animatronic's jaws, and water can apparently loosen... Water can loosen the, um... Oh, the, the spring locks of the animatronics. I know this because when you beat... I think it was the third game. There's a, there's a little mini-game that you play where you're playing as, uh... As, like, the crying child. Um, and he's just like this little ghost or whatever, but that's not the point. Point is, you're chasing this purple guy around, he goes into, uh, um, the spring lock suit, and water is leaking from the roof, uh, implying that it's raining outside, and his suit malfunctions, and it crushes him from the inside. It crushes him in, on the inside, and just completely obliterates him. With, uh, be why? Because the suit got wet, and again, there's another instance of that in the bite of 87 because the kid, when he was put into the animatronic's jaws, was crying. And what are our tears made of? Water. So, because of that, they were loosened 
and so yeah, the fight takes place. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. Hello, it's me. I'm the Origami Cat. Nice to meet you, Mr. Origami. How am I here? You're dreaming right now. Sort of, at least. This room you're in is your old room from before you moved. But right now, it looks like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I am here. I have a couple of tricks. I have a couple of tricks to fighting the monsters. Remember a few years ago, a few years ago, you had trouble sleeping almost every night. Uh, your, uh, your dad gave you a cassette tape player with a tape quite, with a tape with quiet music that he made for you so you could sleep. I bet it would also help you with sleeping better now. The other thing is, the monsters hate light, so I suggest flashing light in their eyes whenever you can, unless they are under your bed. Listen for if they go there. In such a, in such a case, peek under the bed to see which side they're at. Then go back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back will lure them out from under the bed. Listen closely for the sound of them peeking up, and then face back towards the opposite end of the room again, again to give them a good dose of light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here, here if you need my help. Okay, cool. So we're in here. This is the deep scape. This is where your deepest memories are. I'm talking, I'm talking to you from the dreamscape. See those glowing particle thingies? They make up a path. The tape player should be somewhere ahead. Just remember to stay on the path, so the shadows can't get to you. If you get lost, I can get back to you, but only if you're on the path. I can't reach you if you're out in the darkness. Let me know if you need to get back by pressing R. Uh, okay, so... Uh... Breaking the fourth wall, I see! What is this? Beware of the shadows. Stay on the path. So I'm curious. Wait, wait, I saw something there. Wait, 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 hold up. I saw something there. Let me see if I can't. Obviously this makes noise. Wait. Right. There's nothing on the back. Okay. <coughs> okay. Part of a newspaper article. Read it? Sure. After closing so soon, the brand new an the brand new wire animatronics were sent back to <laughs> were sent. Rumors are circulating that the animatronics will be used as, as a base for new or advanced fully mobile animatronics which are speculated to be used for future So that's that's interesting. So wait wait, wait. it says here I'm gonna read this again. After closing the brand new wire animatronics were sent back to <laughs> were sent back. That's those are the candy animatronics. That's why they were there. That's why they were withered. They they were new, like new candy, new city. That's how they were introduced. <clears throat> uh, except here, like it, since they were, it said they were, that they were sent back to the factory. That's why they were withered. That's why they were at that factory, and that's why that particular building was scheduled for demolition because that that factory made candy. Made Chester, made Penguin, made Blank. Like, they made all of these animatronics, and now it said that they were sent back due to another incident. And that same building is then going to be demolished. And then these, and then the animatronics that are salvaged are going to be used as a base for a newer design for, yeah, yeah. Um, for future projects. So, um, so that kind of ties into what I was saying earlier how they were sent back to the factory. Interesting. Okay. We're getting to the bottom of this. Do not be afraid of stepping slightly off the path. Step too far away from the path, however. And that is when you should be afraid. Okay. Is there anything on the back? South from this rock. Ooh! 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 Clues! Clues! We have a clue! We have a clue. I need a compass. Hang on. I'm going to pull up a compass on my phone. Uh... I'm gonna pull up a compass. We have our first clue. Ooh, okay. 
Which way is south? <laughs> um, I could just be really dumb right now, but... I did actually do, mean to do this earlier. Just pull up a compass. Ah, uh, so south, 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 south. Is down. Ooh, okay, so... Okay. Because I was noticing that the drippy drops of my rug... <gasps> Part of me... Read it? Yes. Uh, in the in the reopening day of the Rat and Cat Theater, one of the mechanical puppets were reported to have behaved strangely. The puppet supposedly malfunctioned and attacked a child on its own. Uh, on its own, technicians at the crime scene could not see any way for the puppet to have acted without input from uh, the control its control panel. The employees who were controlling the puppet claimed that the puppet moved on its own. And that he was only trying to stop it. The employees was the employee was arrested at the scene, and is currently awaiting trial. Interesting. Weird. I wonder if that has to tie in with the uh, the twins, because it said like another incident, like some an some weird crazy animatronic killed the twins. Like that's what it that's what it had said. So now. We're figuring out the, that the puppet, oh, supposedly, it killed, it, it just went and murdered children on its own. We're figuring this out. So, the puppet, the puppet was the one that started up that conveyor belt. He was the one that started up the conveyor belt, and he was the one. <sighs> Fucking dick. Ow, my heart. I didn't think you were going to be guarding the path, you shadowy, shadowy bastard. Oh my god. I didn't think he was going to be guarding the path like that, but no, yeah. So we just found out that the puppet, oh, supposedly he killed children on his own. We also found out that a certain someone, they didn't say who, started up that conveyor route that wouldn't, wouldn't didn't you know, like killed a, a couple of twin children. So, we just found out that the puppet was the one that did that. Okay, found the tape player. Found the tape player. Found our game, game number one. Alright, I'm gonna continue exploring a bit because there were, there were multiple pathways. Part of a newspaper article, did it? Sure! After closing the scene, the brand new wire animatronics were sent that back. Okay, wait, this is exactly the same. This is exactly the same? Why is it repeating like that? Okay, so you're exactly the same. Okay, so. Weird. This is weird! Alright, so is this the thing that. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, so yeah, this is the thing that's itself from this rock. So, there were multiple other pathways that I want to get into. And I think for this reason, I think I'm going to make this slightly longer. So I think I'm just going to do one night, one video. Just beat this game one night at a time because, yeah, this is interesting. Um, path does not necessarily lead to every destination. Okay, there's nothing on the back. Damn it, <laughs> damn it. Okay, so, um, I want to see what's down here. Okay, that's, that's that way, so, there's multiple pathways that I haven't explored yet. I went up there, I haven't explored this way yet. Oh, hey! Whoa, hey there, whoa, hey, slow down. It's you, my old friend. I thought you had forgotten about me. It's for kind of boring in here. There isn't much room for racing around in the toy box. Remember back? I remember back when we used to have a race every day. That was lots of fun. We should totally do that sometime again. Oh well, I mean, you didn't come all the way down here for me. You should get what you came for and then hurry back to safety. If you have anything to say, say it now. If you have anything to say, say it now. Uh, 
I don't have anything to say to you. You never, you didn't win me enough gold medals. That's why I put you in my toy box. You were boxed, you were canned, because you didn't win me enough medals. Okay. So. And then that, that. Was this multiple areas as well? Okay, so what was here? I don't think I explored this pathway yet, did I? Oh, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Alright. Back to the dreamscape. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we, I've officially explored everything. Do you remember how to use the tape player? Oh, it's... I'm gonna say yes, just for the jokes. Super duper... Uh, wait. Or no. Oh, damn it. I meant to say no. Oh, well. Never mind. Go to sleep? Yeah. Alright, the first night. Oh, the first night. Alright, now we're finally getting into the first of the nights. Sorry that took me so, so long that I was investigating. Okay. So now we're, we just need to keep up. God, this reminds me of so many of the, like, the, the nightmares that I would, at some point, have. I remember, like, uh, back, this just reminds me, like, back in my old house. Oh, hey, I see, I saw that! How the hell did you get to my closet? Um, I must have a closet to Narnia, freaking lucky bastard. I wanna go to Narnia! I would actually like to be, go to Narnia. Um, I heard that. I heard that. I heard Stippy stomps. I heard Stippy Stippy stomps. I heard Stippy stomps. Oh. Oh, hey. I see you. Go, 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 go. Okay. So, I remember, like, my old... This room, my, this room kind of reminds me of my old house. My dad would have better memory of this... Uh, of the house layout. His memory is often a bit better than mine when it comes to, like, where we used to live. Uh, it's it's a little fuzz, fuzzy sometimes. Like, if it was, like, a really long time. Like, when, if I was, like, just born or something like that, then... He might not be able to remember, but like, remember there was this old house. It was like run down and kind of run down, kind of old, kind of creepy. We had a park that was like next to it, and um, I just remember for some reason I remember having nightmares of like in that house because it was just kind of creepy. And I was out in the open. It was dark, and there were lots. Of... Hey, lots of entrances. down but I remember like to kind of help with that I think like my memory is a bit fuzzy I could we always had this thing like uh a Tony's special time and the the whole point of it was like every night before I went to bed we would do something fun and we'd do like I got to decide what we did and we would do it together and we would play together and have lots of fun and I think the point of that was like just to like oh let's get you focusing on something happy so that you'll sleep with that happy memory and supposedly not have nightmares like this. So, oh wait. It's Markiplier! It's Marky Boo! He's back! Markiplier is... I have a companion in this. There's... Wait. Oh, hey. 
There's tons of references. There are a ton of references in here. Raz, Raz Versky. So there's Freddy with the Dragonborn helmet. There's Markiplier. There's the Septi guy there. Uh, animatronics from those nights at Rachel's. That one I'll do next. Um, I will no, actually think you. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll do that one next. I'll do that one next because those are animatronics from those nights at Rachel's. So um, I want to be able to explain everything. I want to count on one last time. I heard that. I heard that. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, hey, Bianca. Oh, I can click on you. I knocked the Ormagon or uh, Origami Cat off. Okay. Yeah, it's. I'm already at like. I'm already at 21 minutes. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do this one night at a time, unfortunately. But it's interesting, we're getting to the bottom of this. Hey there. I'm gonna try and stop the player before I check on him. Eh. Oh hey, I heard that. Oh, you son of a frick. Oh, hey. I heard that. I countered you again. Trying to see if there's any other references. Oh, I heard that. He like knocks at the door. Trying to keep my eye on all three of them. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit quiet. I'm sorry about that, but I'm like trying to concentrate. I I don't want to let him in, I'm trying to do... There's three entrances he can come in from. Oh yeah, I was talking about the, the park, so yeah, like... So, the old house. But yeah, it was just like an abandoned house. It was just kind of felt like an eerie house, and eventually we moved. Unfortunately, I had one of those childhoods where we moved pretty much everywhere. We moved, uh, like, after I graduated from the next grade, we'd move. And it just continued to do that. <clears throat> I remember one house in particular. Um, I was not a fan of. Well, I was a fan of the yard, of the yard, but like my room just the setup was not a good setup. I wish I could have had a different room because my room was right next to a giant open window. Like it was this big ass window, and so we had to we. I was had that, I had my closet, and then I had my main door. So it did have three entrances like this that he could supposedly come in from. How the hell do you keep getting into my closet? Okay. Go! Let's push it to 6 a.m. faster. Bring me to 6 a.m. faster. Uh, I heard. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Wait, never mind. Never mind. Whoa! Hi! I saw you in the closet and then you popped out. Hallelujah! I got 
fast. I got fast the first night. Whew! That was stressful. That was just all around stressful. Static. Oh, hi. Oh, I can't. I can't sprint in this one. Do, 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 do. Mom, Dad, I can. Are we related? We both have empty black pits for eyes, so... Okay, what is this? Staff area, employees only. Just a bunch of newspaper clippings. It's a poster for the Rat and Cat Theater. Why are they advertising their own theater? That's my question. I haven't seen the Puppeteer's Puppet yet. I've heard that it's as big as a person. Interesting! So the puppet, so the puppeteer's puppet, the puppet, it is as big as a person. Weird. That's the boys' restroom. I don't have to go. Hi, sweetie. Are you having fun? I hope you're uh, happy with the place I picked out. It's just the two of us. That's why your brother is at camp. You, uh, So you can decide what we should have for dinner tonight. Did you say the same thing over again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he does. Okay. okay. I can't do this. I can't do it. I see, I can't interact with any of the tables at all. Um, these arcade games are so boring. I once asked if the rat... I once asked the rat if we could get some uh, new ones soon. But then he got a bit angry. Ooh, the rat is a real jerk. So he got angry when this kid. Ooh, okay. Please don't hog the game. Share with the share with everyone. Whack a mole. Jungle pinball. Astro pinball. Ooh. Urgh. Hey, hey, you kid. I'm the rat. I used to- fuck, I, that's, this is gonna kill my voice if I do that, I'm not gonna do that. Say, the show's about to start in a few minutes. Wanna play hide and seek? No. That's no fun. Oh well, come back if you change your mind. I- I'm not done exploring yet, so I wanna talk to- Cause I heard that their- their- that their responses change when- Okay, it's supposed to for the rat and cat theater. Do not- I love this theater. My family has come here for mo uh, months now. Do you like it too? Okay. So it's hard for me to read those sometimes because my uh, webcam, like, where it shows my face, that blocks the uh, the text sometimes. Okay, that's looping around. So that, all right, all right, cat. I've officially talked to everyone. Let's do this. This is 30 minutes, yeah. I definitely need to do this one night at a time, unfortunately. Alright, yeah. Nito, you go and hide, and hide, then I'll stay here and count to 100. Okay. Now, are you looking for a good hiding spot? Try hiding under one of the tables. Okay. So now the uh, responses should change. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to talk to some of the other kids again, because... Yeah, her response changed because now I'm playing a game of hide and seek with the with the, the rat. I haven't seen the puppeteer's puppy. Okay, okay. Well, never mind then. I I thought all the responses would change. So. Looking for somewhere to hide? I don't think you can hide it under the arcade machines. But I saw a closet down by one of the locked doors. I bet you can hide there. <clears throat> Alright. So I'm gonna choose the table that has my dad right there. Cause that just makes me feel better. Th uh oh. Hide under the table. Just makes me feel better that I'll have it. Okay. I'm with my father. Bring it on! <clears throat> gotcha. Uh -huh. I found you. Wait, did you guys see that? Like, his his face was like the, the nightmare rat face. That was interesting. Alright, and we are now on to the second night. And I'm already at 30 minutes. 
this is going to be a bit of a, this is going to be a much longer game. So, I'm going to leave this one here. I'm going to leave this one for now. Really interesting. We are getting somewhere. We found out that the puppet here, he was the one that started off the conveyor belt. Because it said the puppet was, uh, the puppet, like the employee who was controlling the puppet, was arrested because supposedly he was the one that controlled the puppet that started up the, the, uh, the conveyor belt and killed the children. And it said in that newspaper article that the, uh, the puppet killed children and that's why the employee was arrested. We're getting somewhere. So I'm going to leave this one episode here. I'll come back to this one next weekend and we will get down to the bottom of this. I think I'm actually going to try and play this more often because I like this. I'm getting somewhere with this theory. I am getting down. I am getting onto something. I am onto something here and I like it. I love, I love this. I am figuring, I am figuring shit out. So I am going to come back to this as soon as I can. So yeah, hope you liked this one. If you did, leave a big fat thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Uh, wait, control.